Hello everybody, my name is GoldRC18 and welcome back to another manga video. This time I'm going to be showing you my monthly manga wrap up, the, so the manga I have read, in October 2019. Now, in, I know this is a bit late like my manga haul, but of course, like I've mentioned in my previous video, I've been busy and I've just now got time to record. And yeah, I have read 40 volumes uh, in October. And I am really excited to show you. A lot of them are very strangely related to Halloween with like the titles and that, but you'll see what I mean uh, very soon. And yeah, I read 40 volumes and I actually made, managed to uh, uh, achieve my reading goal for the end of this year, which was to read a total of 750 volumes in my collection overall uh, uh, by the end of the year. Um, not this year, obviously altogether I've not read 750 volumes, it's 751 since I began reading manga and stuff like that. So yeah, I will now show you these manga and instead of doing it in alphabetical order, by title and by height of course, like I do my manga hauls, I will just basically show you the order I read them because I'm actually keeping a note of them in order that I read them. So yeah, my shelf looks a bit of a mess at the moment, that's because I've taken out some manga to show you guys the manga that I have read. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So the first volumes I read, it's nine volumes long, it's actually volumes 19 to 27 of Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. I finally got around to reading this, I actually took a break from Full Metal Alchemist just because there was other series uh, that I wanted to read but here they are 19 to 27 the three in one omnibuses by Viz Media and I really really love this and unlike some big titles I actually like the ending of this it's pretty awesome for those of you who don't know what Fumato Alchemist is it basically follows two brothers called Edward and Alphonse Elric this is Edward and this is Alphonse or Ed and Al as they're colloquially known as basically they do, they're alchemists and they've decided to uh, try, um, basically revive their dead mum through alchemy. However, it starts going wrong and Edward loses an arm and Alphonse loses his body and it's, his soul is transported into a suit of armour. And they're on this quest to find this Philosopher's Stone. Not Harry Potter related. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then it just shows like all the... Um, uh, shenanigans that they had to get up to to try and do it and beat all these other alchemists including uh, I think they've got like a, an actual name I can't remember but they're like this deadly sins basically and when I first started reading this this was pretty dark and I thought I'm not gonna like this because at the time I wasn't really into dark stuff but I progressively liked it and like I say I really enjoyed the ending and I'm really really happy that I finally got around to completing it and yeah, that's all I can really say about this. This is volumes 19 to 27 of Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. Next up is the only kid series, basically. If you've watched my October manga home, you, you would know about this because I've already mentioned it. It is Splatoon volume 7 by Sankichi Hinodea. And that was the postman. Uh, that's why I jumped a bit. Um, basically, I, I, if you want to watch my October manga haul, please go watch it. I do explain what this is about. But in just in summary, it follows these inkling characters. They're basically doing turf wars to do stuff. Well, not do stuff. They're basically invocation turf wars. It's basically like whoever can ink their, the most uh, of their team's colour uh wins the match and it's like a tournament and but this volume actually starts a brand new arc called the octo arc and yeah it's pretty interesting and hopefully my nephew will get to read this soon because he really likes splatoon i've mentioned it before so yeah that's all i can say about this this is volume seven of splatoon by sankichi hinodea next up is one of those things that kind of started like the unintentional Halloween theme -y sort of thing but I read it regardless. It is volumes 1 to 4 of Zombie Powder by Tite Kubo. This is actually his debut manga so yeah here's the it's also by Viz Media and so is Splatoon. Uh, this basically follows a, a guy called Elwood. He was 
a knife thrower and he was thrown into a life of crime until he met meets this guy called Ama, Gama Akutabi who's a criminal with a six foot chainsaw and a metal hand and basically they're trying to find these uh, rings uh, yeah uh, yeah 12 rings of the dead and then they will be able to accumulate something called zombie powder which can actually revive people from the dead and in Elwood's case he wants to revive his dead sister and uh, Gamma Akutabi him wants to basically live forever. Now unfortunately I did enjoy the first three volumes but then at the final volume which is volume four because it says their final volume uh, Titi Kubo really needs to work on his endings. It left a little bit more than I wanted to be unexplained and I just got lost at some points even through the first three volumes I was like uh, okay yeah but regardless it was a pretty enjoyable read and if you do actually uh, get a chance to get this because I've been lucky to get this in a charity shop and um, if you do if you are lucky to come across these four volumes for a cheap price do get it because it is a very good manga to have in your collection and this is actually 20 years old now I think so yeah but TJ Kubo come on get good on your endings Bleach and Zombie Powder have been very disappointing and to be honest with you Zombie Powder's probably got a worse ending that's just my personal opinion so don't hate me on that and yeah so that's Zombie Powder Volumes 1 to 4 by TT Kubo Next up is a series I've also tried to catch up on, but because I have limited volumes in my collection, I haven't, I can't complete it as of yet, but I will try to at some point, but here it is. It is Dragon Ball Volumes 10 to 12 by Akira Toriyama in this 3-in-1 omnibus from Viz Media. Don't worry, not all of them are Viz Media in this uh, wrap-up. <laughs> if you don't know what Dragon Ball is, what are you doing with your life? Well, this is Dragon Ball, so obviously before Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. So this is, follows a boy called Son Goku, Goku, who is on a quest to cat, get... Well, he's got a Dragon Ball left by his father or grandfather or something like that. Yeah, grandfather. And then he meets this a girl called Bulma, and basically she's on a quest to find the seven Dragon Balls as well, thanks to Son Goku. And Son Goku doesn't know anything about the outside world. He sees like cars and telephones and technology. But this is like an uncut version of it as well. So uncensored as well. Yeah, uncut and uncensored. Um, yeah, it's funny. It's cute. Uh, but this omnibus is when it gets started because it introduces Piccolo. Yeah, if you know who Piccolo is, you know he's trouble. And I know he's trouble. Even though I've never really grew up watching the Dragon Ball Z anime like everyone else did uh, but yeah that's all I can really say Um, it's actually a pretty good read and I think after the next omnibus it's actually going into the Dragon Ball Z stuff so yeah I can't really say much else it's a very good read and it's fun like I say it's funny it's very simplistic and there's a lot of so-called chapters called tales because just reading the first 12 volumes I've already read 144 volume and um, no volumes chapters it's crazy but it is what it is and I really do enjoy it and that is Dragon Ball volumes 10 to 12 by Akira Toriyama next up is a series that I'm on the fence about and this is not really changing my mind that much but it's a very unpopular opinion for me to actually hate the series but you know I will try and get more omnibuses if I can and maybe it might redeem itself but yeah this is Naruto volumes 13 to 15 by Masashi Kishimoto uh, I this, is, this looks like Blastoise by the way from Pokemon doesn't that look like Blastoise <laughs> yeah but anyway if you don't know what Naruto is again what are you doing with your life basically this follows um, a boy called Naruto Uzumaki who is in this village called Konohagakure and basically he's trying to become the next uh, Hokage of that village and basically he's a ninja and he's trying to basically uh, do all these trials to become the best and yeah I honestly don't like Naruto as a character but it's somewhat enjoyable I do like um, Sasuke here uh, Uchiha Sasuke and yeah uh, 
this just went into the third arc of the whole series. I can't remember what it's called, but because the arc that started this omnibus off against by Viz Media is the tun tuning exams arc, and now it's on the next arc, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's a very short one. I think the next two volumes, as well, the next omnibus will go into the fourth arc, and yeah, apparently I'm going to cry uh, because one of my friends said I'll cry doing this, but. I've not been impacted so far, except I wanted to cry at a certain character's backstory. I'm not going to say what it is, because spoilers. And yeah, I can't really say much else, except this is Naruto, volumes 13 to 15, by Masashi Kishimoto. Next up is a series that I've had in my collection for a little bit of time, and I just picked, them up, picked the volumes up because I thought... Oh my god, that actually looks so cute! And honestly, I did really enjoy this reading the series, and I wanted to get more volumes if I can. And uh, I think it's a very underappreciated series. I've not seen much people with this in their collection, but I think people should get into it. It is Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle by Kagiji Kumanumata. I have here volumes 1 to 6 and I read all of these within a couple of hours and oh my god it is funny and I love it. It is crazy and stuff like that. The premise basically promo follows this girl here. Her name is Princess Aurora Sialis Goodrest and basically she's being kidnapped by uh, these monsters and she's trying to get a good sleep but unfortunately for many reasons she cannot sleep and she always tries to use like monsters in the castle that she's in uh, and also uh, uh, materials from other monsters rooms and stuff like that to make some pillows and covers and stuff like that and weirdly enough I was getting sleepy when I was reading this but um, I, it's not because I hate it, I actually love this series, I really do want more volumes and it's just great all around. The artwork's pretty interesting to look at and it's just very nice to read and it's very laid back and yeah, I really do hope to get more volumes of this because again, it's just incredible and I love the covers, they're just so, so pretty and yeah. But also, as a side story, there is, like, these humans, obviously, like, knights and stuff like that, that are ordered to try and get uh, Princess Cialis uh, back into the, um, the, their realm, basically the human realm. But, obviously, they're failing at the moment. There's no not much focus on it. It's just mainly focusing on Princess Cialis to get some a good night's sleep. And every chapter basically fo follows, like, her having... A good rest and she's enjoying herself uh, but yeah if you haven't had a chance to check this out I do highly recommend it it's one of the greatest series out uh, the newest series by Shonen Sunday that's out at the moment and yeah I can't really say much else now and that is Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle volumes 1 to 6 by Kugiji Kumanomata and that's another one of the Halloween-y themed ones oddly enough because demon and now the final volume, well, the final four volumes that I have actually read to round this up is a series I really wanted to start because a lot of people have talked about it and it was just like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be, as, is it going to be bad? Although I have, I did have high hopes for this and I'm really, really glad I did uh, read this because it's making me want to get the next omnibuses but hopefully I don't uh, leave it too late because it might get hard to get soon but you'll see what I mean in a minute it is I Am A Hero volumes 1 to 4 in these 2 and 1 omnibuses by Kengo Hanazawa and the reason why I said it might be hard to get soon is because it's by Dark Horse and Dark Horse have a very good reputation of uh, having short print runs so yeah and basically this story follows this guy here. His name is Hideo Suzuki. He's basically uh, caught in the middle of a zombie apocalypse unbeknownst to him and basically he just he's um he's an assistant to a mangaka a manga artist and he's creating a manga. He's known for a manga as well that a lot of people seem to enjoy but he's just like oh mm, okay <laughs> I, didn't really, I just wish I wasn't known for that, but 
he starts getting like he sees like news reports about people getting bitten and stuff like that, and they and they obviously people just shrug it off and say, "Can you believe that like, this teacher actually bit her student and stuff like that?" And then it gets it starts to get a bit more real for him, because even though he doesn't know what what's going on, he because he's very pure, he's always like apologizing, he's always like doing the right thing, even though he does something wrong, he just makes up for it. And basically, um, things start to go wrong when, for well, he comes to a little realization about it, this zombie apocalypse thing, uh, when he finds out that his girlfriend has uh, basically become undead, and shit starts to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but I really did enjoy this. The artwork in this manga is incredible, and I can see why people actually really do like this series, and I really hope to get more omnibuses, like I say. Uh, I really wanted to get them in Forbidden Planet before they closed in Aberdeen, but sadly they only had like four or five and stuff like that, because I re desperately wanted the third one. But sadly they didn't have it, but I'm glad I've read the first four volumes and hope to continue this very soon. And yeah, uh, I do recommend it. It is a great zombie manga. If you want to check it out, please do. It's incredible. And yeah, I can't say much else now. It is volumes one to four in these two non buses of I Am A Hero by Kengo Hanazawa. And that will be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed my wrap up. I really ha I'm sorry again that this is coming out a bit later than usual because I've been busy. But hopefully I'll be back on a, a decent track to get back into uploading videos on a basis of where I do them properly. And yeah, I'm excited to see what I read this month. I've already read a few volumes, but again, I'm not going to say anything because... That's spoilers for you and I really do hope you continue to support me through this channel and thank you again for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any recommendations for me to read, I would happily oblige to read them if I can find the volumes and if I start <laughs> buying manga again. I don't know when my band's going to be over, probably after my wedding. But yeah, thank you again for watching. If you if you want to see more manga content, please subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you again for watching. Bye for now.